Imagine surgery in a world without anesthesia. There are no sterile tools, no delicate stitches. It's a world where wounds aren't closed. They are cauterized, shut with searing hot metal. For centuries, surgery was a terrifying last resort, a brutal race against time and agony, a nightmare many never woke up from. But in the 10th century, in the city of Cordoba, one man dedicated his life to ending this nightmare. His name was Al Zarawi, the father of modern surgery. He was guided by a sacred principle from the Quran that to save one life is like saving all of humanity. He saw a sacred duty to replace brutality with compassion. This wasn't just a job for him, it was a sacred trust. It drove him to invent over 200 surgical instruments, designed not for force, but for precision and gentleness. Forceps, scalpels, surgical needles. Many we still recognize today, but his true genius was in his compassion. He was the first physician to use catgut for internal stitches, a revolutionary material that the body could dissolve on its own. This meant patients didn't need a second agonizing surgery just to have their stitches removed. It was a revolution born from empathy. He literally wrote the book on surgery, a 1,500 page encyclopedia that became the medical standard in Europe for the next 500 years. He didn't just change surgery, he transformed it from an act of butchery into an art of healing, subhanAllah. So here is the crucial question. Why do we celebrate names like hypocrites while a titan like Al Zarawi remains in the shadows? There is a well-known saying, history is written by the victors. And when that happens, it doesn't just cheat one group of people. It robs all of us of our full human heritage. It creates a broken story pretending that genius, discovery, and compassion only ever came from one part of the world. The truth is, al zarawis story isn't just Islamic history, it's a human history, and it belongs to every single one of us. So it leaves you with a question. If a discovery this monumental was deliberately left in the shadows, what other parts of our shared human story have we not been told?